Chuang. I graduated from uh, Melbourne Uni in, in Australia and I specialize in accounting and finance. Uh, I got my chartered practicing accounting in year 2002. Yeah, in Intune, I run the business development segment. Yeah, I'm also a certified partner accounting running with my wife. My wife is actually the other partner that runs the firm. My name is Lily Yong. Um, I'm graduated uh, with a corporate finance degree from University of Adelaide, Australia. Uh, my first job is with Ernst & Young, a accounting firm. Uh, for five years, then I moved on to manage an internal audit department for an Australian listed company. I'm a member of Certified Practicing Accountant Australia and also a member of Malaysian Institute of Accountant. So in Intune, I am the managing partner. Uh, I take care of the sales business development and also overseeing the operations at Intune. So I've been a practicing accountant for the last 20 over years. The company was started long, long time ago when I was still with KPMG. So during that time, uh, I got a lot of friends who are having complications and stress when they run business. And most of their challenge is they cannot hire an accountant. So as a result, they, they always only hire maybe a club or an exec. A lot of time, they have a lot of issues with their finance, payment, uh, sometimes the money gets lost, sometimes the accounts don't close in time, payment is not done in time. So the time when they wanted to hire me, then I was thinking, how are they going to pay me? Like if they were to hire me and I charge them 10000 for SME, how can they afford me? So I went back and I think and think and then one day I got this idea. This idea just popped up. If five of them combine, each one maybe pay me 3000 a month, then I can serve five of them at one shot. I become like an HQ accountant to five of them. Then I can assemble a team to actually support them. And that's how Intune was formed. In terms of the company, our team structure is divided into sales and operation. So uh, uh, the sales is very simple. We serve our client by understanding their need and then we provide them the solution. In terms of the operation, it's divided into two segments currently. We have the finance, which take care of the day-to-day -day accounting for our client, from payment to preparing the financial statement. Another team that we have is doing the HR and payroll service to ensure that the day-to-day -day of the salary and remuneration, including compliance, are taken care of. As an accountant, as a service provider, we need to be able to sync along, tune into the processes of our client and customize. For example, maybe a manufacturing client will be very different from a trading client. So Intune means as a provider, we are tuning into their needs and requirements. The vision of Intune is to be the leading finance and human resource outsourcing provider in Malaysia. In this vision, we want to create financially driven entrepreneurs and businesses who runs their business based on numbers, analytics in driving their business to their goals. The mission of Intune is to support every small medium enterprises becoming large by being their strong finance and HR pillars for their businesses. This means that we are providing them a team of knowledgeable professionals with strong processes and workflow to support them in their growth journey becoming large. Okay. There are three main types of services being provided at Intune. Uh, number one is the finance, number two is the human resource, and number three is the consultancy. So in terms of finance, so what we do is that we does the everyday accounting and finance functions for our small medium enterprises clients, like you know, preparing payments, even issuing invoice, official receipts, reconciling their sales uh, collection on an everyday basis, up to giving them a financial dashboards and accounts every month, up to on a half yearly basis to sit with them and review their financial dashboards and at the end of the year to take care of their audit and taxes on their behalf. That's on the finance side. So the second type of service that we provide for our client is human resource related, which means we take care of their payroll. We make sure that the payrolls are calculated correctly, accurately, on time and in compliance with all labor laws, EPF, SOCSO, etc and then taking care of the leave for their staff 
and making sure that at year end, you know, all the forms, all the compliance matters with Income Tax Office is complied with. So, in terms of HR, we also assist our clients to issue HR-related letters. Like when a new staff come on board, to give them the employment letter, when they confirm and you know, if there's any increase in salary, bonus, we help them out with all those paperwork. The third segment that we have is the consultancy service. Where these are the this is where we we serve SME where they needed like an outsourced CFO because they can't hire a CFO, right? So we as an outsourced CFO we go in, we review their whole business processes, we see where are the loopholes or where are the risks in their business, and we provide consultancy, be it in terms of business re-engineering or process improvement. Okay, in terms of the flow of our service uh, for accounting outsourcing, what we usually do is we go and meet our client first. We understand where are their pain points, where is the challenge that they have in terms of the day-to-day -day accounting service. Once we identify the scope, we will then meet them and prepare a quotation for them. And then we will actually do implementation. We look at what is not working currently and then we fine-tune their process and implement our process in and then we maintain the process for them. We take this whole day-to-day -day accounting away from them into our, our business processes. Yeah, for our those people who want to engage us, why you engage us is to actually allow yourself as a business owner to focus on business. Most business owners, they are very good, like if they are baker, they are very good in baking bread. They do not want to be worried about accounting, paying of the salary. And this is why we exist. We close the gap so that business owners like you can actually grow your business while we take care of your back. So some of the pain points that we can help you to resolve are, example, your day-to-day, -day, making sure the payment is paid on time, making sure your creditors are being paid, making sure that when you actually invoice someone, you actually collect the payment on time. These are some of the key things and of course with our processes that we put in place, you do not need to be worried about money going missing, especially if you're handling cash. How do we reconcile your credit card collection and all the online collection with today's technology? So these are some of the things that we can put in place to support SME. Even for, your, for you as an entrepreneur, you can be traveling to US and you have access to your accounting information real time through your phone. That is something that we can support uh, SME outside there for you guys to focus on business and leave all your day-to-day -day accounting to us. So for those who want to venture into this business, um, my sharing would be two things. Number one is to get yourself qualified as a chartered accountant, as a member of MIA. Um, I think it's very important that professionals should be properly qualified. And secondly, get really clear why you are doing this. Your mission. What is the worth of an accountant, of a HR professional? What is the contribution to the SMEs? For in, in, in Tune's case, it's SME. And how does that contribute to the growth of the community and the economy of Malaysia? So these are the two main uh, sharing.